Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be filming a reaction to my 2019 goals and TBR video. I will say I remember the goals that I set for myself for the year of 2019, but I don't remember all of the books that I included on my TBR for 2019. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to guess that I have read less than 50% of whatever I said was in my 2019 TBR. So let's start the video now. Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be filming my 2019 goals and slash TBR video. <laughs> After watching and reflecting on my 2018 goals video, I realized that I didn't really have a lot of goals in 2018 and so I kind of wanted to change that in 2019. Like I wanted to try to push myself. So I have three bookish related goals that I want to set for myself in 2019 that are monthly goals. Well, the first one is to read 100 books in the year of 2019 because I've read 100 books pretty consistently in these last like three-ish years. I mean, I know one of the years I read 99 books. The year before this, I think I read around like 112 books. And Okay, yeah, um, forgot that I made that actually like a goal for myself in the year of, of 2019, but I'm actually doing the best on this year's goal that I have like ever before and I think I'm at like 130 books right now or something crazy like that so like I definitely beat my goal of 100 books but I do think like in the future I'm gonna continue to keep my goal at 100 books because I don't want to like overwhelm myself you know and I think 100 books is plenty you know for a goal anyways so at least I met my first goal <laughs> my second goal is to reread a book once a month I decided that I'm gonna create a little reread jar and I'm gonna put in a bunch of my favorite books which I will show you all the books at the end of this video that I'm gonna be putting into this jar that I will be rereading throughout the year because I love rereading and in 2018 I only reread four of my favorite books. Okay. Um, I did manage to reread quite a few of the months but there were more months I think that I didn't end up rereading anything. I think there were probably only like six months that I actually like followed through with my reread but that is why for these like last two weeks of December or so I really want to catch up on all of those books that I didn't get a chance to reread so I think next year instead of doing like a reread jar every single month like that I'm just gonna do this every year where I save like the last two to three weeks of the year for rereading because I feel like this is gonna be so much more fun. I mean, we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy it yet, but <laughs> but I think that'll be a lot better for me than doing a reread every single month and feeling pressure to have to reread that book when I have so much other stuff that I need to read or I feel like I need to read. Didn't really complete this goal. I would say I probably read like six months out of the 12 months with rereads, maybe like seven or eight, but Probably like six. <laughs> and then my third and final bookish goal that I have for myself in 2019 is to read at least one of my book of the month selections that I get sent every month. Because if you didn't know, I'm a book of the month ambassador for them, which is why I receive three books from them every month. I get to receive three out of their five selections every month. Okay, that is a good goal for me because I think I did, with the exception of like only two months maybe, I did read one of my book of the month selections that I received every month, which was awesome because I am an ambassador for book of the month so that throughout the whole year they have sent me three of their selections every month to promote on my social medias and to review and so I wanted to like stay on top of it by reading at least one of the selections that I was receiving every single month but they actually in November they just changed it so that you only receive one of the book of the month selections every month instead of three. So I feel like it'll force me to read that one book that I chose instead of having this option of like reading one of the three. I don't know, but I feel like as far as a 2019 goal, that one was definitely achieved. Like I think there was only like two months out of the whole year that I didn't manage to read one of the book of the month selections that I received. So that's good. <laughs> well, as far as my 2019 TBR go. goes, I obviously have a lot of books that I'm going to be reading in 2019 and I still have a video coming out in early January that's going to be titled something like most anticipated books of 2019 or something. So like those books 
are going to be in a different video, but those are some books that I'm planning on reading in 2019. But these books that I'm going to mention right now are books that I absolutely am going to make it a priority to read in 2019. And if my 2020 self is watching this right now, you should be ashamed if you didn't read these books because <laughs> they are at the top of your TBR. And you need to read them. The first books I want to mention, I want oh to mention God. the ebooks that I have listed here first, like the ones I don't actually own, and then I'll point out the ones that I own. The first ones are Tin Man, and then I have- Um, okay, I tried to read Tin Man, and I could not get past the first, like, 20% of the book, so that was a DNF for me, but at least I tried. I have My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren. I did read My Favorite Half Night Stand, so that's good. I enjoyed it. It was alright. And then I have Baby Teeth. <laughs> I did read Baby Teeth, and that was a one-star book for me, probably- one of my least favorite books that I read this year. I have If We Were Villains, which is still lost in yes. the name. I did read If We Were Villains as well. Really, really enjoyed that one. And then I have The Long Way to a Small oh, Angry Planet. God. Okay, I haven't read The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet yet, but this is one that I keep like checking out the audiobook from the library and then I'll start it and, and then I just get so distracted and I can't pay attention to it. It's something that I really do want to eventually read, but I just don't know if that one's gonna end up being my thing or not because I just can't get into it. I can't get past the first like couple of chapters of the book. I have Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I did read Owens. Where the Crawdads Sing. That one I felt like was a little bit overhyped for what it was. Next will be The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. <laughs> Didn't I did read The Nightingale. I read that one like first thing in January because I had really intended to read that in 2018 and I put it off for so freaking long that I picked it up in January, so that's good. One is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I also did read Renegades in January and it was alright. It was kind of disappointing for me. The next one is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Ugh. Station Eleven is definitely one that is still on my TBR. I do really still want to read Station Eleven, and that is another one that I have tried to read several different times, and I just can't get past the first like 50 pages for some reason. So I feel like that one is definitely going to be one that I'll have to just push through at some point. Is Every Note Played by Lisa Janot? Uh, Every Note Played is another one that I started and I could not get into it. I actually tried reading the physical book and I couldn't get past like 40 pages and then I tried the audiobook and I also kept getting distracted and couldn't pay attention to the audiobook so I feel like that book is just not for me. Next one is Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. I did read Sometimes I Lie and that one was pretty awesome. Really enjoyed that one. Next one is The Suspect by Fiona Barton. Yikes. I still haven't read The Suspect by Fiona Barton. I actually still haven't read anything by Fiona Barton. Yeah, I should probably get to that in 2020. <laughs> Next one is The Perfect Nanny by Leela Slimani. Uh, the Perfect Nanny was actually the first book that I read in 2019, and it was a major stinker. It is Reasons to Stay Alive by yes, Matt Haig. I did read Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig. That is one of my favorite nonfiction books now. Really, really enjoyed that one. Wow, okay, that actually went better than I thought. Like, for some reason, I thought I was going to include books on here that I, like, <laughs> did not read at all. But I feel like every single one of those books, I at least attempted to read them, except for that Fiona Barton one at the end. At least I stuck to my word of, like, trying all, almost all of them. It looks like that is about it for the video, but... I don't know, I feel like I did stick to my 2019 goals like better than I thought I did. I mean, I definitely stuck to it better than my 2018 goals. Like, I don't even remember that video, but I remember reacting to it and being like, what even the heck, did I even try? <laughs> so yeah, I guess that is all for this video. And very soon you can expect from me a 2020 goals video and TBR video. I am really excited for next year, but I'm excited to discuss my 2020 reading plans with you. So you can expect that video very soon. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you guys soon with a new video.